lighting in here is weird because there's like these LED, LED bars. bars, so it looks like it's not the camera, it's the lighting. But we are back at Castle Park in Riverside. Now we were here last week to cover the full Castle Dark event, which is their separately ticketed nighttime Halloween scary event. And during the day on the weekends, they have a Dia de los Muertos celebration, which is family friendly. Now in between the two events, between Dia de los Muertos and Castle Dark, there is a buffet that you can purchase for $24.99, either $24.99 or $24.95. Let me double check the price. There is a 430 seating and a 545 seating. And it's in the big top restaurant, the back banquet room, which I didn't even know was back here. And there's gonna be a magic show out front, but the buffet includes rice, beans, uh, I think there's barbacoa, there's nachos, there is carne asada, there is bacon wrapped hot dogs. Oh, it's all you can eat for an hour. And it also comes with uh, canned sodas, and also there's two different kinds of agua frescas over there. There's a piña and a horchata. So let's take a look at this food. It looks really good and very excited about this. Here's the carne asada, and I challenge Nick to eat this entire tray of carne asada. Let's <laughs> see how that goes. Here is some rice, and I believe the beans are on their way. We've got some nacho cheese and chips to make some nachos here. That looks good. Here's all your toppings for your tacos, or I guess you could put it on your dog too if you wanted onions and cilantro. Then we've got the uh, salsa verde. Sorry, there's some music playing out in the main room, so I'm kind of yelling over the music, but the salsa looks good. table was set with some decor and they had baskets of chips and regular salsa out and like I said there was salsa verde up on the buffet so let's dig into these chips. Looks good. I've got the bacon wrapped hot dog. Now is it proper to put ketchup and mayo on a street dog? Yeah. Oh the music went off. That looks so good. Definitely gonna make some tacos out of that. And then, and then this one, wait for it. Oh, I was gonna build up the suspense. That is beef barbacoa. That looks really good that too. That looks so good. And Nick was saying earlier, barbacoa needs to be juicy, and that looks juicy. See, there's the lines I was telling you. <laughs> See them? So I'm here with Sandra, part of the management team here at Castle Park. She's bringing out all this delicious food. So what can we expect here? I know you're excited um, about the menu. A lot of food. We like Mexican food. Um, it's a traditional Dia de los Muertos um, food that um, we have traditionally in Mexico. So rice, beans, barbacoa, carne asada, chicken. Um, there is also other things like bacon wrap, hot dogs. Um, delicious, I would say. I, I already had one of those. Those are good. Those, that's what I started with because they were out first. So we can attest to those. You can buy online or you can buy at the park at our guest relation booth. Okay, and it's uh, two seatings a day. I think we said that earlier. Yes, 4.30 to 5.30 or 5.45 to 6.45. Uh -huh. And so you can either do the dinner as part of your day package, day ticket, or if you're coming in for dinner before Castle Dark, or if you stay come in during the day, you could do the dinner and then stay and get a ticket for the Correct. evening too. You can so. upgrade if you did it um, beforehand, or you could um, you could decide to stay, or you could uh, leave after the dinner and the magic show. And you said it's twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. Perfect. A good deal. There's quite a bit of food there. It comes with the drinks. I saw churros, so there's some desserts. A really good deal for the dinner, and it smells delicious. So Thank you. let's go eat it. <laughs> So I'm gonna try some of these meats here, make some tacos. So there's chicken, there is carne asada, I got some rice, beans, cilantro, onions, lime, and my tortillas over here. Let me make some street tacos with the salsa and I'll let you know how they are. If you've watched the channel before, you know that I love Castle Park because it's got so much history and the staff is very, very friendly. We just talked to Sandra who's been bringing out the food and she she cooked some of it. I think she made some of it herself, didn't she? She said, and that's not even her department, but she was really excited about trying something new for Castle Dark kind of came up with the menu and was very excited to share it with us. She was so friendly. We talked to her for like 20 minutes. She's been here at the park for several years and we were talking about other theme parks. So when you come out to Castle Park, it's a totally different experience than going to one of the SoCal biggies. It's very hometown feel, very friendly, totally different atmosphere. So that's just one of the reasons why I like coming out here. Plus all the classic attractions. Castle Dark is a lot of fun. They have Duke's Very Merry Village at Christmas and they have activities throughout the year. So if you've never been here, check out their website. Tickets are very affordable. They've got miniature golf courses on the other side. They have the whole ride park. They have a huge arcade and they have one of the best indoor dark rides, I think, in Southern California, Ghost Blasters. It's two stories inside the arcade. So we're gonna dig in now because all this is getting cold. So <laughs> eat my food and stop talking and see what it tastes like.
Nick is starting with the carne asada, and I think those lines are like right across his face. <laughs> How is the carne, carne asada? asada? The tortillas are delicious. Oh. Carne asada is good. Oh. Onions and cilantro, really, yeah. These are some good street tacos. Oh, you only put one tortilla. What kind of street I taco is that? <laughs> you totally killed the street taco vibe on that. Oh. First taco I'm going to try. I have to admit that I already tried the chicken. It's really good. Uh, but I made a taco out of it, put some rice, beans. Chicken may be a little bit too big for the size of this taco, but let me see if I can uh, eat it without making a mess. It's like really good chicken. Not to start a debate, but you know, if you want to fight in the comments, go ahead. <laughs> They're a Pepsi Park, so an extra star for being a Pepsi Park. <laughs> I'll always choose Pepsi over Coke. I want to judge this carne asada by itself without being in a taco, so let me try just the meat. Mmm. Good. That's good too. And over the years, we've become theme park food connoisseurs. <laughs> This is actually really good food. That's really the barbacoa kind of food. No, and, bar and barbacoa. As of last Thursday, I became a barbacoa connoisseur. <laughs> Unlike myself, who became a barbacoa connoisseur on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, we've been eating, the, well, we, my family, has been eating this since we were little, so not new to us. <laughs> but Nick had never had a quesabiria taco until I told him about it. So... <laughs> That barbacoa is a legendary. <laughs> legendary. <laughs> so legendary. Good. Is that their new ride name? <laughs> yeah. The next ride they put in, the, <laughs> the legendary barbacoa. It could be like a roller coaster, the legendary barbacoa. Slow roller coaster, just hand it to you. Uh -huh. You're supposed to catch it. We're going to try the barbacoa without making a taco. Just, you know, try it on its own. <laughs> it is good. Nice and tender and juicy, flavorful. I don't know what I like better. The chicken, the carne asada, or the barbacoa? They're I'd all good. Barbacoa. I'd probably maybe go with the barbacoa. If they could only put one meat out, it would be the barbacoa. But the chicken was very flavorful. The carne asada was really good, too. This is really good barbacoa. And yes, I've really had barbacoa before Thursday, but I labeled myself an expert as of Thursday. La, la, la. <laughs> Tonight. They're playing good music out there. This is my second hot dog. Don't judge. Oh, see, is there food on my face? I was at an event the other night and there was food all over my face and not one person told me all night long, so I have to keep checking. But this is my second hot Janice, yes, that was you that didn't tell me there was chamoy all over my face. But, okay, so this is my second hot dog. I'm not even putting anything on it because that's how good it was. I think Sandra said she actually made these, so Sandra, you make a good hot dog. <laughs> We were going to do our wrap-up outside, we probably still will till we get outside, but we're standing in front of the Big Top restaurant and there's a slider monster for Castle Dark, and there's, there's about like 12, guys. there's like 12 teenage girls afraid to come out of the restroom. It is the, literally the funniest thing I've ever seen. He's just standing there, and there's about 10 of them, 10 yeah, or 12 of them, all scared. wearing devil horn ears, <laughs> and they will not come out of the bathroom. <laughs> oh, here they come, they're coming out, so they're all holding on to one, oh, there! <laughs> <laughs> well, there went there went one that actually came out. <laughs> Cla classic. <laughs> so there is quite the crowd going into Castle yeah, Dark tonight, <laughs> and they just started a new chaperone policy as of this week, and a new bag policy. So if you're coming out, it doesn't to look like it's going to stop anyone. From coming. No, it's a really busy. <laughs> looks like it's busier than it was last week. But if you're coming out, just make sure you check those new policies that went into place this week. Like many of the parks are doing, they have that new chaperone and a new bag policy. But tonight we were here just for that food, and I will say it was absolutely delicious. Oh yeah, 100% amazing. Uh, the chicken was good. They had chicken, they had carne asada, they had beef barracoa, they had bacon wrap hot dogs, there was beans, rice, nachos, churros, uh, agua fresca, sodas, what else am I missing? Well worth, it was only $25, well worth, is Nick, are you still in there? Yeah, I'm in there, I'm in there. don't worry. <laughs> Uh, well worth $25. So you can add that on to your day visit for the Dia de los Muertos celebration or add it as a pre-scare dinner to your Castle Dark ticket. Or if you want to stay throughout, you just buy a combo ticket well, for day and night. There's no monsters in there. Well, there's no monsters in there, but you can have it before event and pre-event dinner, yes. yes. But I felt like we were at someone's, a friend's house for dinner. The food was homemade. 
It was authentic, very delicious. I liked the little setup, just the little candles they had on the table. And it was it was like you're at a friend's house for dinner, but with really good food. Did you come try the Vizia, try the Rina barbacoa, barbacoa uh -huh. and the rice. That was that was probably my favorite. I think I have everything I had there, and actually the hot dogs. Yeah, the hot. Oh, I had two hot dogs, which I shouldn't have had, but I did have two. <laughs> I tried my best to make them some more hot dogs, but they were at least big enough. Yeah, they were really good. So recommend it. Book it in advance. You could buy it online in advance. I think the ticket sales are at least for tonight. They shut off the night before, but if you want to walk up inside the Big Top, you could purchase the buffet buffet there if there's still space available. 4:30 or 5:45, and you have one hour to eat as much as you want. So that's it from Castle dark if you enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on and follow us on social media at the funnel cake blog on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok it's gonna be a busy night in there a lot of scares bye